Hello everybody, how you doing today? And welcome once again to our Daily Dose of English. In today's podcast, I want to talk to you about an expression, a phrase, a verb, a business vocabulary, and we're going to do some uh, reading exercise at the end. So, stick around and let's get started. The expression of the day today is the expression, speak of the devil, speak of the devil. Well, that that expression basically explains itself. Um, Usually we use that expression when we're talking about someone uh, and then that someone shows up, right? So I'm talking to a friend about my boss and then my boss shows up I say well speak of the devil so in Portuguese we have a very similar expression I think it's about the same expression in Portuguese so you use that expression when you are talking about someone and then someone shows up so you're in a, um, in a call, for example, with uh, other members of the team, and you're talking about uh, John, for example, and John is not in the call yet. So when John joins the call, uh, you could say, oh, speak of the devil. It means, you know, we were just talking about you, okay? So that is the expression, speak of the devil. Uh, It's a very nice expression. It's a common expression. And it's not a negative expression, okay? Although we use the the, the word devil, it doesn't mean we're using a, you know, like a pejorative or a negative. We could be be saying good things about that person. It's just an expression, innocuous expression. For the phrasal verb of the day, we have the phrasal verb break into. Break into basically means to invade, to in, to forcefully invade a place. So we could say that, um, for example, they broke into the house last night. They broke into the house last night. It means they invaded the house last night, right? So normally um, burglars, they break into houses when people are on vacation right? Someone broke into the house, someone broke into the house, someone invaded the house. So that is the expression, uh, the phrasal verb of today, break into. For the business vocabulary of today, we have the verb belong, to belong. Now, the verb to belong means uh, it's usually used to associate property to someone, Right. So, for example, if I say that uh, this house belongs to me, what I'm saying is that uh, this house is my property. I am the owner of the house. So belong means that that person, uh, institution, whatever it is, is the owner of the, the item we're referring to. So this car belongs to Michael. It means that Michael is the owner of the car. So that's the verb to belong. We also use the verb belong in the sense of, um, for example, if you are part of a group, right? If you're part of a community, we could also say that, um, you know, for example, I belong here. I belong in this place. It means that I am part of that society. I'm part of that group. This is where I must be, okay? Uh, Some companies even use that uh, word belong, like this is where you belong, like this is where you should be, this is where you have to be. So we also use that, you know, I belong to a community, I belong to a church, to a group, to a company. You know, you have that sense of um, I am part of that environment, all right? Now, today, uh, uh, for the end of this um, podcast, what I want to do is I want to do something a little different. Um, I have a link somewhere there in the text, uh, and this is a link to um, an article about 2021 in review. 
So this is an article that talks about how was, um, you know, how the 2020, 2021 year was in terms of, you know, economy, politics, and, and everything. So what I decided to do today is I'm going to read the article for you guys. And you can follow the article, like find the link, open it, and then you can follow the article. It's a very interesting and very short article. Okay, so here we go. The name of the article is 2021 in review. An influential think tank has suggested that the year 2021 wasn't as bad as 2020. The Council on Foreign Relations, CFR, is a United States not-for-profit body of experts specializing in U.S. foreign policy and international affairs. It celebrated its centenary in 2021. It stated that 2021 wasn't as tumultuous as 2020, which put in a claim to be the worst year ever. However, there was still plenty of dreadful news. Number one on the bad news list was the world's failure to properly address climate change challenge. This led to the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres declaring a code red for humanity. Other top stories included the mutating of the coronavirus, mass migration, the supply chain crisis, and the Taliban return to power. The CFR asserted that 2021 did bring some good news. It said, for a moment in early summer, it seemed that COVID-19 was in the rearview mirror. On the brighter side, more than 9 billion COVID-19 vaccinations were administered globally. Many notable achievements occurred in 2021. NASA's Perseverance rover successfully drilled, extracted, and stored a sample of Martian rock for the very first time. In health news, after decades of targeted and sustained action, the WHO declared China free of malaria. There was also some good news regarding sustainability as United Airlines flew its first passenger aircraft with 100% sustainable fuel. And cheese lovers were guaranteed there is no evidence that cheese causes weight gain. Well, guys, this was the text. Uh, you can listen to it again and again and read it and try to check your uh, pronunciation. Uh, let me know what you think about this text. You can use the uh, comment section on LinkedIn or YouTube. And remember, if you are not following me, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Every day we have expressions, phrasal verbs, text, news in this podcast, which I try to keep under 10 minutes a day. So feel free to share this with your groups, with your friends. And if you're looking for English classes, let me know. I work with business, fluent speakers, advanced speakers. Uh, we have accent reduction, business classes, conversation classes. That is what I specialize in. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.